Welcome to the second part of our mitosis tutorial where we are going to be talking about the second and third phases of mitosis called metaphase and anaphase. And if you've watched the first part you'd know that up until this point our chromosomes have condensed and our mitotic spindle began to form and push our two centrosomes toward opposite poles of the cell with our polar microtubules pushing the poles apart in blue in the cell and our kinetochore microtubules attaching to the chromosomes and slowly engaging in an ongoing match of tug of war that resulted in our chromosomes approaching the midline of the cell and I've got those microtubules in yellow. And when we arrived at that point we got to the step we refer to as metaphase and the first thing that we'll see in metaphase is that our chromosomes have now lined up perfectly at the metaphase plate and the metaphase plate is just an imaginary equator to our cell. So we can see here if we draw a line down the middle of our cell that will be what we refer to as our metaphase plate, so the equator of the cell. And just making sure you remember that that metaphase plate doesn't actually exist, it's just an imaginary line at the equator. And it's as simple as that. All we need to know about metaphase is that it is the point in mitosis that results in our chromosomes becoming aligned at the cell midline. So it's not a particularly long phase. But there is something important to know here about mitosis. If we imagine for a moment that we're scientists and we suspect that an individual may have a chromosomal abnormality, wouldn't it be great if we could get a clear picture of those chromosomes to be able to determine our hypothesis? Well, our cell, ever so politely, has our chromosomes aligned and tightly condensed during metaphase. So if we are performing a karyotype to visualize our chromosomes, we will most often perform it on cells that are in metaphase. And just so we don't forget, we still have our polar microtubules ever so slowly pushing the poles of our cell further apart. And that concludes our metaphase, so we can tick that one off. And now let's start to have a look at what's happening in anaphase. And the first thing we'll see that happens in anaphase is our kinetochore microtubules are going to begin to pull the chromosomes apart. Instead of aligning them toward the midline, they're now pulling them toward their opposite poles, and it's going to result in this. So if we remember, our DNA replicated during S phase of the cell cycle and joined as sister chromatids. But now that we're in anaphase, those sister chromatids are going to be pulled apart and become individual daughter chromosomes. So we can see the individual chromosomes here. And just for reference, that pulling apart is going to be initiated by motor proteins that we have within our kinetochores of the centromeres of our chromosomes. So I'll just put this here one more time. We've got our full chromosome, so we have our sister chromatids joined by a centromere, and we're going to have them slowly pulled apart when we begin to start anaphase and that's going to result in one of the daughter chromosomes being pulled in each direction. And remembering that those daughter chromosomes are identical copies of each other, so this is mitosis, not meiosis, so everything we copy is identical to what we began with. Okay, so we are moving our chromosomes toward opposite poles of the cell now with our movement generated by the motor proteins within our kinetochores. So our centrosomes, the structures at either end of our cell, we can see are playing an ongoing massive role in mitosis, right? But we can also determine here right away that because we have one at each end or each pole of the cell, we are going to end up with one copy per new cell, exactly like with our chromosomes or DNA content. And the last thing we're going to see happening in anaphase is that we still have all of our polar microtubules of the mitotic spindle continuing to elongate. So we've got our polar microtubules 
elongating. And that's all still part of the structure that we call our mitotic spindle. So everything, all of those microtubules, the kinetochore microtubules and the polar microtubules, all part of our mitotic spindle. And they're going to be pushing the cell apart. And that concludes anaphase. So we can see now that we've only got one step left in mitosis before we get to cytokinesis and conclude our mitotic or M phase of the cell cycle. So in the next video we'll talk about telophase and I hope this video has been helpful to you. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon.